Hello, this is Barney Kargal with your encouraging word for today on Monday, April the 6th. And our word for today is Dunkirk. Now, some of you may have seen the movie in 2017 called Dunkirk. It's an amazing story, but it's even more amazing than what was shown in the film. And, and it all begins in May of 1940. Hitler was invading Europe, and he, his troops were sweeping across Western Europe. Uh, in just a matter of weeks, he conquered Holland, Belgium, Luxembourg, Denmark, Norway, and then France fell. And the only thing that stood between Hitler completely taking over Europe was 400,000 British troops that were trapped in a tiny enclave in a place in northern France called Dunkirk. Now, the Nazis were closing in, and it didn't look good. They were coming in from every side. They had Hitler had 1,800 tanks and 300 dive bombers that were preventing any kind of rescue efforts. And it's impossible for us to overestimate the level of despair that freedom-loving people felt at this time. And so on uh, May 25th, Hill, uh, 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 Churchill began a heroic rescue effort. And it wasn't going so well, but eventually uh, over 800 tiny boats came in besides the military transports, and they rescued nearly 350,000 British troops. And as a, as, a, as a result, Britain was able to hold the line against Hitler's onslaught. But now I want to tell you the rest of the story. It wasn't in the movie, but here's the rest of the story. The day before that began, that evacuation, on May the 24th, King George of England declared a national day of prayer. Businesses closed, government offices closed, schools closed, and people gathered in churches and homes to cry out to God for the deliverance of those troops. And then something supernatural happened. In fact, it's called the miracle of Dunkirk. First of all, heavy fog and rain settled into the area, so those dive bombers couldn't come in and wipe out the, the rescue efforts. The sea that was normally rough, uh, the English Channel, became like glass. So the, 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 the boats, were, small boats were able to come in and, and rescue the troops. But the most amazing thing was that for unexplained, some unexplained reason that historians still can't figure out today, Hitler pulled back his 1,800 tanks for, for a week, over a week, allowing those troops to be rescued. And I got to tell you, if that hadn't happened, I believe the world would be a much different place today. And I don't mean that in a good way. And this is huge. And like I said, this wasn't in the movie, but this fulfills what God promises us in his word. Second, Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14 says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven answer their prayer, and heal their land. He says, if you humble yourselves, if we humble ourselves, pray and seek God's face and turn from our wicked ways, those three things, God will hear us. And I've got to tell you, you can disagree if you want, but I don't believe we're facing anything nearly as serious as what they were facing that day at Dunkirk. The entire future of Western civilization doesn't hinge on, you know, the coronavirus. It's, 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 I'm not trying to minimize it. It is devastating to our economy. But if we can do this, if we can see this as an opportunity to get real with God, cry out to him, Seek his face, turn from our wicked ways, let go of the things that are sabotaging our life, and I think we know what they are. God will heal our land and answer us. And that is my encouraging word for today.